I was first elected in 1965 as a councillor and then elected as mayor in 1980. So if my math is right, that's somewhere in the neighbourhood of roughly 48 years in public life. So you can imagine what I have seen here evolve in the town of Milton. When I was first elected, the population would have been roughly 45, 4,800 people. And here we are today, the town of Milton, with a population probably slightly, unofficially, over 100,000 people. So we have seen some tremendous changes. And in my opinion, as humble as I may be, they've all been for the better. At least the biggest majority of them have, have been for the better. And I think you would probably find the average Miltonian suggest that as well. So for us, it's only onward and upward from here. What makes Milton such a great place to live and work and play? Well, I would like to think that it certainly is the people. Uh, without those people that you just alluded to, it wouldn't happen. You can have all the bricks and mortar and all that stuff into place, but the environment, we've got the Niagara Escarpment that runs through this community. It's a world biosphere. So live, work and play, that's the emphasis that we put on. Uh, this community and there's a lot of that evolves here. You know it's kind of coincidental sometimes uh, it's a perception of a community such as Melton. A lot of people perceive that it's a bedroom community. Believe it or not it is not. There's as many people drive into Melton to work as what drives out so wouldn't it be an ideal world if we could all work in the same community we live in but in the real world that doesn't happen but we strive for that and we're slowly but surely achieving some of those goals that we set out to live, work, and play in the town of Melton. And by the way, town of Melton is and still the fastest growing municipality in Canada. Last two official census, I understand, led to believe in North America. That's percentage wise. So that'll tell you something that we're doing something right here. I would personally like to think it's all because of me. I know that that's not the case. It's the people, it's the community, those roughly 100,000 of us. Right, right. Well, you mentioned the importance of um, building that community support and building a real community feel. What are some of the things that the town has been involved in to create that sense of community here in Milton so that it's not viewed just as a bedroom community? Well, you know, one of the things, and I have to thank our partnership. When I talk about our partnership, I talk about our partners in government. I talk about the region of Halton, I talk about province of Ontario and of course this great nation of ours and now I'll only use one illustration a new uh, arts and entertainment center that we uh, built roughly three years four years ago now and that probably would not have happened when it did if it hadn't have been for that participation of the province and the federal government so that's just one simple illustration of uh, what we've got going for us recreational uh, activities in Melton is great we have what we call the three M's it's called Move More Milton. In physical activity, staying, uh, staying active is very important. Health and welfare of a community is very important because if you don't have a community that the biggest majority of people are active and have reasonably good health, you don't have a lot going for us. But we do have a lot of that going for us in this community. So as an example, the new Milton Sports and Entertainment uh, Center. Um, we've got four ice pads. They, uh, two gymnasiums, uh, springers where you know dance classes happen, just a whole host of activities. But over one of those ice pads, we put a walking pad with three rings in it. Now it's very, very expensive to use that. We charge the public five dollars a year, five dollars a year to use that, and they have access of that 24/7 for the most part. And you can go in there, you can walk, jog. Or if you've got a little one, you can take your baby stroller in there and not only uh, mom gets a little exercise pushing the baby stroller, uh, the children can walk with her. So we really push that quite hard. So that, and again, is a simple illustration as to what we've got going on here. And not to forget, as an example, uh, the business community. Just recently, when I say recently, in the last you know year, year and a half, uh, and two of the businesses uh, located in Melton here is the new Target warehouse with 1.4 million square feet creating six or seven hundred jobs. Lowe's distribution located here and that's just a couple of many that's located here. So the message is out there that Melton really is the place to be. We're in a global marketplace now. 
competition is out there. So if you can have those recreational things that you and I have already spoken about, workplace and the environmental things. What a place to, you know, to raise a young family. And believe it or not, now in Milton has on average the youngest population there is in the province of Ontario. Back only 15 years ago, it was just the opposite. We were one of the oldest. So not only are we one of the youngest, but we're one of the brightest too. And I'm talking about the average uh, education the average person has that lives and work here in Milton. So when you get that sort of thing going for you, it'll pretty well sell itself.